One of the most powerful features of Generate Blocks Pro version is global styles. And if you're not utilizing global styles to set up some global buttons, then you're definitely missing out. Setting these up allows you to be able to control the consistency and look and feel of your buttons site-wide. So if one day you decide you wanted to change the look of your buttons or your branding updated, you can go to your global styles, update it there, and it'll uh, update site-wide. Let's take a look now at how to set up global buttons for your site. All right, guys. So once again, I have a demo site here. And as you can see, I've got some various de button designs um, that really don't match, no consistency. You know, some of this has been kind of clipped together based on different tutorials I've done. Um, but what I want to do is set up a global style for a buttons um, so that these can be all much more consistent throughout my site. So first we're going to do is dive into the dashboard and assuming again that you have generate blocks pro version, you'll come to generate blocks and click on global styles. We're going to hit add new and we'll give this a title of global buttons. All right. So what we want to do is now insert a button block from generate blocks and style it um, how we want our buttons to look. Uh, I kind of want to mimic this about AWD button here at the top of our hero section. So I think what I'm going to do is actually edit this page, um, select my button, and let's copy it. So now I'm going to paste it in and you'll see this is a generate blocks button block um, with the button I pasted in. Um, let's make a few tweaks to it now so that at least we can see uh, the changes reflect once we, um, you know, update the global styles. So the button text, um, you really can put anything you want. So we'll just say blue button. Now, if we come down to the borders, I'm going to say um, two pixel border radius uh, spacing. Let's do like eight on top and let's say 28 on the sides. Ooh. So it creates kind of a skinnier button. Um, now on the colors, let's just verify. So if we come to the colors, we've got our background color is this bright teal. And in the hover color is white. And the text color on default is white with the hover color being a uh, dark gray. Okay, so let's now, let's add an effect to this button. Um, we'll say a transition Let's say device all, state hover, um, self, and we'll just say ease in out. Uh, and duration 0.5 is okay. And let's say transform. So we want this button, um, let's say we want it to move upward. So um, let's say five pixels on hover. Oh, they went down. Minus five. Okay. Perfect. So let's close that. Let's go back to our transition and it should be on normal. Uh, I've made that mistake before so that it'll transition smoothly on um, hover and off hover. All right. So once we have our button styled how we would like with it selected, come up to the top and go to the global styles settings. Under the label, we're going to name this blue button. What you name this um, is important just for an admin purposes so that you understand which button it is you're selecting and applying on your site. 
Um, now you can have the a capability to edit the global style ID by hitting this check, uh, excuse me, hitting the unlock button. Um, it does warn you that changing this ID means that if you already have buttons set up with this ID on this global style, um, that those will be broken, um, which is okay for us because this is brand new. We haven't applied this global style anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and say blue button. So now that ID is GB dash button dash blue dash button. Um, what you can do then in that case is use this class to also call to it in CSS if needed. Um, you know, it creates its own selector. So we can go ahead and hit publish. All right, so what we want to do now is just jump into our homepage demo and drop in a new button and test out our global style. So if we jump into our hero section, I'm going to actually delete these old buttons because we don't want to confuse those with the new ones. Um, so come on in and hit enter, put in a new buttons block. And Right away, you can see here on the top, it says use global style. We're going to select yes, toggle that on, and you'll see blue button. There's our button that we set up. And there it goes. So now it's automatically applied the style. You see the hover effect is taking place. Uh, it's looking really good. But there's one, uh, well, two things we need to do here. Um, one, you'll notice that the global, like the width of this button, the paddings just don't align, right? Because our button was skinnier and wider. But when I first applied the global style to this, it just looks more square. Um, so if you come down to the padding on the button, it automatically comes with default padding in place. So we need to go in and delete all of this padding out and now you'll see the button is reflecting the uh, you know, width and padding that is in our global style. And now uh, the second thing we need to do is just align this button in the center of our container. So if we come to the container and if we say this is a flex container, go to column and align item center. There it goes. We've got our button right in the middle where we want it. Perfect. So now uh, what we want to do is say, I want these buttons to also match that same exact global style. Um, what I need to do is this is actually a older buttons block that's deprecated from generate blocks. This is an old demo site with old pattern library items. So we're going to delete that one out, insert a button, once again, use global style, blue button, and go delete the padding out. So now that's perfect, looks good. So we'll, what we're going to do is just say copy, and we're going to delete this button, hit enter, hit paste, delete this button, enter hit paste all right so we'll go ahead and hit update and go ahead and take a look at the front end oh now you see we've got an error so the button you can see the words button there and it actually floats on hover but the styles are gone it doesn't look the same um, same with these there's zero styles uh, in place um, now the fix for this is if we come back to our page, when you click this, you'll notice there's no link associated with this. And as this is a button, we obviously need a link for it. So if we go ahead and add a link and we'll say, oops, we'll say about AWD, and then we'll add a link to say about, so that this will jump to our about page. If we have one, <laughs> there it is. All right, and if we come to these buttons, go ahead and link those. Oop. 
view more and we'll link say services perfect do the same here whoops got it and last but not least jump into here type services and select it all right so now we can hit update once again come back to the front end refresh and there they are so now our style is taking place um, so for some reason if you do not have a link associated with your button that global style just will not populate so there you see it all of them are looking good and so now let's see the real power of global styles take place if we come into our global style and we say you know what forget the teal color we're going with purple um, is our new brand color we want it to look bright purple like this keep the same hover effect it looks fine but blue is our new brand color so let's update that global button come to our website hit refresh and there you see it now our buttons are entirely all purple because they all are linked to that same global style i hope this helps you see the potential with using generate blocks global styles on your buttons you can use the same exact framework as I showed you to create multiple button styles. You don't need to create a new global style every time. You can, in that same exact global style um, editor, you can duplicate that button and create as many as you like. Be sure to label them, uh, you know, with unique IDs so that you'll understand which one you're selecting. Um, but really the possibilities are endless. You can create a white button. You can create a button with an underline um, a button with text only, no uh, background color. So the idea is create a button style for every single design of a button that you have on your website, which of course you probably shouldn't have um, more than four to five different styles of buttons. Um, you can create four or five different global styles, name them accordingly, and then everywhere you drop in a button, all you have to do is select that global style from the dropdown and you're only designing it once and everywhere else it's done for you. Hope you found this video useful. I appreciate your support and be sure to subscribe for future Generate Blocks videos.